Hello everybody. This is Glenda Fraylin with Fraylins and Friends. I'm going to be going out on the porch in just a little bit, but first I have to report an insult. Somebody thought our dear camel was a dinosaur because he had two humps and a long thick tail. But I'm happy to report he got a makeover. <laughs> this is our new camel friend. Isn't he sweet? And I even gave him that crooked grin. <laughs> and one big hump and a little tail that just scoops right down behind him. So now there is no mistaking that he is a camel. <laughs> we'll go down from porch. I had to get you one. Hey, guess what my sissy brought today? Two. And she already brought and Joe already did one. So we got a lot of strawberries. <laughs> Joe just did one up and, put it, and he put it in the freezer. Half a gallon bag. And he's cooking. Mr. Joe. We're having fish and Mackey salad. I gotta breathe. <laughs> it is steamy. <sighs> no, nope, our... But you know what? The old camel is still safely hidden inside of the new one. No, I didn't waste it. I just used the old body to fill in and built around it. And so we've got a real acute camel now. All of those strawberries, man, alive. I never turned down strawberries. That's a lot of strawberries. <laughs> uh, we'll probably give some to our kids. To the two that live up here, anyway. <sighs> I can't believe it's still this warm. It did rain last night. Oh, we had quite the thunderstorms all around. And it did go through here. But it wasn't... I tell you what scared me was scaring me more than anything was the reports of what it could do. But I'm always glad for those reports because if not, we could be completely unprepared. Like we were in the middle of the night, about three years ago maybe. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> when we had to replace the roof. I try to be quiet, but it's just almost impossible. Hey, look! My sissy came over and cut my hair for me. Oh, she's so good at it. Well, she's got the same kind of hair I do. Baby fine and straight. <laughs> But she complimented Joe on how nicely he did the bangs and how he got him so nice and straight. And I thought that was sweet. So he tried to be modest about it, of course, but I'd already, I already told you guys how nice he did. So, ah, what are we doing? Sitting here chatting, that's all I'm doing. I don't know, what are you doing? in the comments besides sitting and watching me if you are still watching me tell me what you're doing or what you did with your day me well I got to chat with my sissy face to face 
She was on one end of the table. We've got a long table. And I was on the other end. And she was behind me when she was cutting my hair. But we really haven't had... any new COVID-19 cases in this county for a while. There have been people who've had scares, but turned out negative. But as far as I know, the most cases they've had, and that number's been holding, unless it changed today, it's been holding for a while now, is 44, was the most cases that were had tested positive in Gage County. They did, oh, let's see, two new, or no, they did get 18 new cases as of yesterday in Lincoln. A lot of people protesting and not distancing. And I understand the protests, I really do. And. I can sympathize. I really can. I don't like injustice. And I'm glad that there's a meeting of the minds of the of some of the legitimate protesters and the officials, you know, like the police and stuff. Police don't like when this stuff happens because it shows bad on them. Then it's hard for them to arrest anybody who is legitimately doing something wrong without being accused of something. And so they're wanting to, they're wanting the justice. They're wanting things to turn around and be, be better. But there's, there's going to be those out there. There are a lot of people are saying this is a good turning point. This is going to make a major difference. And I hope so. I really do. I'm not happy about those who are looting and breaking windows, but that's not the legitimate protesters. Those are ones who are going out behind the protesters, and mostly, I think, after the curfews. I don't know for sure, but I think mostly after the curfews, and they're just destroying, and there's no good reason for it. The messages are being heard. They're being, they're, the talks are happening. It's never going to be perfect everywhere. Actually, it's never going to be perfect anywhere on Earth. So, But progress is made and is getting made. This may have as much or more impact than when Martin Luther King Jr did his peace walks and his his civil rights movement. This is worldwide. The thing I'm happy about though is we live in a country where we are given the right to protest and, and assemble as long as we do it peaceably. Peaceful protest is our right. It's the riots that we're that are not right. And it can get it can get heated on both sides. I'm not gonna I've actually never been in one. I've only seen them on TV, so you never see the whole picture. Um, and or in the newspapers, you never hear the whole story. So, that's all I want to say about that. I just wanted to, but it may just be that we will go through some more, some more rounds with this COVID-19. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Have to see how much it affects things that are happening. Oh, golly. But, no, I had a, had a good chat with my sister. We said goodbye two or three times, and finally she got out the door. <laughs> I 
that's about how it works. She says, well, I gotta go, and then something else will, somebody will think of something else to say, and, <laughs> and around and around and around it goes. None of you are ever doing that, are you? None of you ever do that. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll probably have to add some brightness to this when I edit it in, but uh, even if it is a little muggy, it's just nice to be out here. And I, well, my office is a mess for one thing. And I didn't go in and clean it up today before you guys got on here. And I think, you know, I just got to show you Mr. Campbell's new facelift, and I'm, I don't know. I'll do some things on camera. I still like doing those some of those things on camera because I like to do crafting. I don't generally do tutorials, but I a lot of times let you see what I'm doing or see me do it. I don't call them tutorials because I'm just, I just don't do tutorials. <laughs> I do informationals maybe, but those generally aren't on clay. <laughs> I do some informationals and I have done in the past. In fact, I've got a playlist, uh, Living with Chronic Disease. I told somebody else one time that it was about COPD, but I forgot I had renamed it Living with Chronic Disease or something like that because there's several others that are mentioned in there that there are topics that particularly deal with other diseases. And that's per, with those, that's pretty much most of what I dealt with topically in the videos. And those, I feel I have, well, for one thing, COPD, I live with it every day. But I worked as a nurse for many years. That doesn't make me an expert. I still do my research. Actually, I kind of enjoy doing research. And I'm, I'm not going to put half of this on the video. And it looks like my battery's starting to get low. <laughs> I'll say goodbye here in case it goes on me. Then if I continue to talk, I'll dub it back in. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed just hanging out. Just hanging out and having a little laugh or two maybe. Maybe a little bit of irritation at my swings gr grinding sound. Sorry about that. Maybe identifying a little bit with my sisters and my conversation. Trying to say goodbye unsuccessfully. <laughs> I'm sure none of you have ever done that, right? If you have not yet done so, please subscribe to my channel, our channel. It's Freylins and Friends, so <laughs> it's an our channel. Please do subscribe and click that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. So we will see you tomorrow. And I hope you will all have a good night. Sleep peacefully. If you have a little trouble because maybe you're worried about something, tell yourself a nice little story. Or rewrite the end of a movie in the way you want it. Just in your mind. And if you aren't so inclined to do something like that, just think about, think about a favorite place. Think about somewhere you feel safe and warm. And right off to sleep, maybe you'll go. And we'll see you.